Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine. In today's video, I wanted to share my thoughts on the Rothy's loafers and the Everlane Day Glove. Here's the Rothy's loafers and here are the Everlane Day Gloves. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Catherine. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you have enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, I wanted to compare the two different pairs of shoes, the Everlane Day Gloves and the Rothy's Loafers. So here they are. They're both in color black. Um, these are very, very popular brand shoes at the moment. Um, a lot of people default to these shoes for comfort and for the price point. Um, I have both pairs and I didn't see a, a review where um, there was somebody comparing these two. So if you're considering either one of these pairs or both of these pairs, um, this video is for you and please keep on watching. So I'm going to be covering a couple different points of each shoe and then I'm going to compare both pairs of shoes and I'm going to pick one in which shoes win in that category. So the first category is price, second category is quality, a third category is comfort, and fourth category is whether all in all they're worth it. So I'm going to start out with the uh, Rothy's loafers. These are my Rothy's loafers in size eight and a half. Uh, most people recommend that you size up. I'm usually in between size eight and eight and a half and I chose the bigger size. And I think it was a better call for me to choose the bigger size because they are a little tight on my feet. I mean, in case you guys didn't know, Rothy's make all their shoes from recycled plastic bottles, which is really, really great because that's environmentally conscious. That also means that since these are made with plastic, they're not going to stretch. So if you're in between sizes, definitely just size up. If you're usually true to size, I would still recommend that you size at least half a size up. These shoes currently retail for $165, I believe. If I'm incorrect, I will insert the correct price on the screen right now. Um, I bought mine last year and it used to retail for $155. So they have gone through a round of price increases, not by much, but at least by $10. So in terms of quality, I do think these are a relatively well-made shoe. Let me just share my uh, pair with you guys on the screen right now. So here's what my shoes look like at the moment. There is a good bit of wear because I've had these for about a year. Um, there's something on the shoe here, but all in all, the sole hasn't worn that much for how often that I used to wear them, but you can see that there's some wear at the back over here. And you can also see that there's some wear up front over here. I think I touch on the knit part when I walk, which is just natural way of me walking. Uh, but all in all, I think insoles also look really good and the bottom soles also look really great for how long I've had it. The good thing about these shoes is that you can machine wash them, but however, you cannot dry them at all. Just think about drying a plastic bottle in a dryer. That's how these will be if you were to dry them in your dryer. So while you can machine wash them, it is highly recommended that you dry these in the air without any heat. In terms of comfort, I would say these are fairly comfortable. I have a couple of different issues with these specific pairs of shoes because I have wide and flat feet. So I need my shoes to be wide enough where my toe box is. So these in a way is really great because it's flat. So other than the flatness of the shoe, I do have a problem with how narrow the toe box is here. So while I don't mind wearing this to work from time to time, I can definitely feel that it's really it gets really tight over here. Not only that, because this is made with plastic, just imagine putting your feet in a plastic bottle for an entire day. If it's winter time, it's not a big deal. And if you stay outside all day, it wouldn't be a problem during winter time. However, I live in Georgia and it gets extremely hot here. So wearing these during summer months, it's not an option and they definitely do not breathe. Some people have said, oh, I have no problem with these shoes in terms of breathability. That might be true if your feet just tend to not get warm at all. I need shoes that breathe and these are definitely not the pair of shoes that you want if you want them to breathe. All in all, I was kind of disappointed with these shoes and if you have 
similar issues with shoes like I do. Um, like you will have wider feet. Feet tend to get warm really easily and you need your shoes to be breathable. I wouldn't recommend these at all. Now let's move on to the Everlane Day Glove. These shoes currently retail for $115 and for a pair of leather shoes it's priced pretty well especially compared to the Rothy's loafers. And for that I think these are built really really well. So let's talk about quality. So the Day Glove, I don't know whether it's true for all of their shoes. Um, these are made in Italy, so they're made with Italian leather. And you can tell that it is very, very thin, very malleable uh, pair of shoes, which I really like. Um, I've worn this throughout this week uh, a couple of times, and you can already tell that it started to mold to my feet, uh, which I don't mind at all. And once I put these on, it'll look as good as new. Um, and I've been pretty impressed with the quality. So it's leather. One thing that I really like about these shoes is that it has not only leather on the outer outer part of the shoe, but also has leather inside of the shoe as well. So it makes it more breathable than some of the other leather shoes that I own where it's uh, PU inside and that traps the moisture and the heat and that usually does not work well for me, but this is definitely an exception. And for that, for how much leather they have used, I've been pretty impressed with the price point. And one thing that's also really unique about these shoes is that they have holes on the side. So you can see that on their side there's there's two holes here and that's for the that's for the breathability of the shoes, which may or may not help, but it's a really cool feature that they have. And the bottom soles are made with rubber, so it'll wear pretty well over time compared to the leather bottoms. Now let's talk about comfort. Like I said, um, these are way more breathable than the Rothy's loafer that I've shown you guys earlier in the video. And because this is made with leather, it's going to mold your feet better over time. It does stretch because it's leather as well. However, I have a unique problem. I don't know whether anyone else has had this problem. What would happen after me wearing this pair of shoes for an entire day? I would have a problem where the, the cut here is touching my feet and it's leaving marks on top of my feet. I will insert a cutaway now to show you guys how it looks at the end of the day. While it's not the worst problem to have, this has never happened to me with a pair of shoes before, especially because I don't have high arch feet. So it's really odd that this part right here really cuts on my foot. Um, I don't know whether it'll get better over time. I've only have had this pair of shoes for about a week. So I'm hoping that over time it'll wear and the leather will stretch out a little bit more, which won't cause this problem anymore. All in all, I do think the Everlane Day Glove is a better choice uh, for the money. Um, since it's $50 cheaper than the Rothy's loafers and they're made with leather, it just seems to be a better quality and better investment for me at the moment. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any specific questions about other pair of the shoes, please feel free to leave the comment in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.